So I finally finished my PID controller for my Lee melter. Um, basically, there's a ton of videos online about how to build these and how to wire them and all that sort of stuff. And I just reviewed a whole bunch and came up with my own solution, so to speak. Uh, so primarily for my connections uh, where you have to jumper them, you know, you have to have a couple of lines coming off the same ones. I just use these press fit connectors to make those connections. I added on some spade and, and uh, connectors on the ends of the various wires. So here on the left, as you're looking at this, I'm assuming, you're going to see the controller itself. This is the solid state relay. The light that's on is indicating that it is actively trying to uh, raise the temperature. Normally this probe here would be set in the pot uh, and uh, the system would keep feeding it current until it reached the uh, set point. So right now, because this um, controller is only uh, functioning, uh, will only function in Celsius, I have it, I have the set value at the bottom is set to 375 degrees. Uh, I'm going to need to check into this further because I was hoping to be able to switch it to Fahrenheit, which is 700 degrees. Um, so that's everything. Uh, it's not very complicated. I used an old short cord and fed the, cut it in half and fed it inside and then just wired it up according to sort of the directions that I found. The one thing that I, uh, the one goof up that I did make was um, the... <laughs> The uh, solid state relay with the um, uh, heat sink below it, I think you can see that from this side here, sits just a little higher than the very top of this can that I uh, purchased on Amazon. So you can see it there. And so what I did was I just cut a hole to accommodate the solid state relay. And actually, it kind of turned out to be a good idea because what it does is it gives me the ability to, to watch and monitor the solid state relay as it works um, so that I know things are going according to plan. So I'm just going to shut this off very quickly and put the cover on so you can get a look at it with the cover on. So you can see it here with the cover on and uh, you can see the solid state relay peaks up. You can watch the action and then it's still functioning here. And that's it. Thanks folks.